Hello, in this Quest Pro video and Quest 2 for the matter bomb to testing on Quest Pro, I'm going to show you the new version 46 update. So there's a bunch of new features. The features that I'm going to be showcasing in this video are the new camera settings and they are for recording. So right now you're seeing my recording. It's in a square ratio, so a one by one ratio. And that's fine if you want a quick little recording, but if you're sharing to a platform like YouTube where the default standard is 16 by 9, it's you're just missing a lot of what you could be showing the user. It's just not a good experience. So with the new version 46 update, it allows you to change that. Before you could change it, we needed to use something like SideQuest or use ADB commands, either in SideQuest or in a command prompt or terminal. It was a bit cumbersome. Yes, you do get more features using SideQuest and, a, and even more using ADB, but if you can do it without connecting, I'm, I think that's great for most people that don't want to get go that technical. So to enable it, you go to your settings. And first of all, make sure it is updated. So go to system, software update, make sure it's version 46 or newer. And now it will be in the camera settings, but you need to enable it in experimental. So it's an experimental feature right now, but it works very well. Go to experimental. And there's a lot of, you know, cool features here, but the one we're interested in is advanced camera settings. Click that. Click continue. Now that's been enabled. So what it's done is taken us to the system menu and then camera and in here what you want to do is go down to the experimental there's a bunch of features right here first one is image stabilization so the problem with recording right now especially when you're playing a game like beat saber or anything else really you don't realize that the actual camera that's recording is effectively your head so any little movements that you're doing in your head obviously if you're looking around that's different but just general movements you might not realize that you're doing them so using this you can increase the stabilization obviously if you do it will decrease the field of view so balance that i might do some test videos you know low versus medium versus high and you know off as well to see you know how they compare but you can in, you know change them the aspect ratio, this is what I'm excited for. If you select that, I'm going to go to 1920 by 1080. So there's 1024 by 1024, 1920 by 1080, portrait 1080 by 1920, stuff like TikTok shorts. So this is the one that I was 16 by 9. I won't do it yet. I'll do it. I'll end the recording, enable it, start the recording again. Because I've found for some reason, sometimes if you do it whilst enabling the recording, it can mess up. You need to reboot your device, all that stuff. So just bear that in mind. So you again, increasing frame rate. But if you do, it does say it will reduce app performance, which is natural. So if you've got a low powered app, then go for it. If you've got a high powered, uh, you know, uh, you know, an app that requires a lot more performance, a lot more horsepower, you know, bear that in mind. Same with video compression quality. So you've got a way of increasing the sort of the fidelity of the recordings now. I think that's great. Obviously, just bear in mind that the file size can get really bigger for like 500 meg plus, just like a four or five minute recording. So they can really add up. But as long as you just, you know, delete them as you don't need them on the headset anymore, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So what I'm going to do, end the recording, change settings, start the recording again, and you'll see the difference. So this is the one by one mode. And let me just quickly end it. Okay, so we are now back. So you'll notice that it is 16 by 9 and it is higher quality. So if I go to settings, the two main things I've changed is the aspect ratio, change it to 1920 by 1080. And so that is 16 by 9. Before it was 1024 by 1024, which was 1 by 1. The bottom one is 9 by 16, which is stuff like TikTok shorts and, you know, Instagram, I don't know whether they're calling them shorts, calling them stories, whatever they call them. And... This is one of the things I was saying. There's a lot more sort of customization available in SideQuest and even more via the ADB route. But again, that's more complex. This is great for if you're not very technical, you don't want to be diving deep into that sort of stuff. If you do, I've got SideQuest set of videos, so feel free to check them out. And I also increased the video compression quality. Those are the two main things that are changed. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Let me know if you would like to see comparison videos of the 1x1 and the 16x9 and even the 9x16 of, you know, in-game. I might actually do that. So that's really it. There's not much more to it than that. 
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. And as usual, you know, give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.